One of the great love stories of the 20s, Greta Garbo and John Gilbert. Looking at these pictures today, every eye is on Garbo. But in 1926, Gilbert was the greatest star. I had already started the picture. And we were trying to get a woman to play opposite John Gilbert in the picture. And we were up at Arrowhead on our first location. And when I got back, the studio gave us the okay to go ahead. It was all right to go ahead with Garbo. And it just happened that the scenes we started shooting when we got back were the scenes in which Garbo was introduced to Gilbert at the railroad station. And that's from then on, that was the development of their love affair in the picture. Had a real love affair going for me that you couldn't beat anywhere you tried. don't say anymore where have you been all my life and you are the only man in the world and you are everything and uh, she made you believe that it had happened to her they were really two people utterly and totally in love in a rare interview garbo said john gilbert is one of the finest men i have ever met he is so fine an artist that he lifts me up and carries me on with him. It is not just scenes that I am doing. I am living. There was an explosion. I have never seen two people so violently, excitedly in love. I mean, when she walked through a door, if he was in the room, he went white and took a great long breath and then walked toward her as though he were being yanked by a magnet or something. And uh, she had always been rather aloof and that I want to go home now line stuck around her. And she just adored him. It was, and when they made love scenes together for a movie, as they did in a number of them, uh, they had sometimes to be censored a little bit. They were so violently in love that they couldn't conceal it. Director Clarence Brown had the task of suggesting the story without making it too explicit. He succeeded in the best Hollywood style, the art of arousing the audience without arousing the censor.
wanted to give up pictures. And she said, I will marry you at once and leave the screen. And Gilbert didn't want her to leave the screen, and she said, you're not in love with me. You're in love with Garbo. But when Eleanor Boardman married King Vito, Gilbert impulsively suggested a double wedding. Garbo agreed. Gilbert waited. In vain. And it got to be the point I was upstairs with a little champagne. The people were downstairs. The music was playing. Garbo hadn't shown up, and Gilbert was getting very nervous, getting rather violent. The fans wanted to see Garbo and Gilbert together again. Garbo insisted that only Gilbert could direct her in the love scene. She hung on his every word that she would look at him before any shot was made. If he didn't approve, it would be reshot. Gilbert directed nearly half the picture with the agreement of the credited director, Edmund Goulding. Gilbert directed the farewell between Bronsky and Anna. Bronsky imagines he is going away with his regiment, a brief parting. Anna knows she has lost him forever and intends to commit suicide. For his sake, she makes light of the situation. <laughs> 